Welcome back to Disturbed Reality. Today we're going to be covering a war crime. And in my opinion, this clip in particular really highlights the reality of war. To me it just encapsulates the brutality, the hopelessness, and the inhumane nature of battle. Of course in popular culture, we have had many movies about war, video games about war, but dare I say sometimes war in these pieces of media is almost glamorised and you don't really get a true feel for how war really is. This clip gives you exactly that. The clip I'm referring to is the infamous Dagestan Massacre, also known as the Tuchkar Massacre. The incident took place in the year of 1999 and it occurred during the Second Chechen War. The major combat phase of the Second Chechen War took place between 1999 and 2000, however the insurgency phase lasted from the year 2000 to the year 2009. The estimated number of casualties during the Second Chechen War vary wildly, from 25,000 to 250,000, including civilians, Russian military personnel, and Chechen militants. It was an extremely brutal war, filled with casualties and extremely brutal acts on both sides. One of those brutal acts was the Dagestan Massacre, a video that depicts the execution of six Russian conscripts by Chechen militants. And for those who don't know, essentially a conscript is somebody who's been drafted into the army or military, and it's basically a mandatory enlistment, so you know, the guys who were executed in this video, for all we know, they didn't even want to be there, but they had to, otherwise, more than likely they would have faced legal charges. So, you know, that in itself is pretty messed up. During both Chechen wars, there are believed to have been similar incidents to the Dagestan massacre. One of the tactics of Chechen militants was to essentially execute Russian soldiers, but record it on camera, and then leave the tapes on the soldier's dead body for their colleagues to find. Essentially, it was a tactic to spread fear in the Russian army. As I'm sure you guys are aware, there's a tape similar to this one called Chech Clear, which I've actually covered on this channel. That tape is basically the beheading of a Russian soldier by Chechen militants, and very often, that video will get confused and conflated with the Dagestan massacre, but they are two separate occurrences. Chech Clear took place in the First Chechen War, and the Dagestan Massacre took place in the Second Chechen War. But anyway, let's get into a little backstory in regards to this incident. On the 5th of September 1995, two units of Chechen militants crossed into Dagestan, seizing the border village of Tuchgar. The Chechen commander leading the attack was identified as Umar Edil Sultanov. The attack happened very early in the morning. The Chechen militants found 12 Russian conscripts and also a police officer. Very quickly, a firefight ensued. Shortly after the battle began, communication was disrupted, and the Russians were running out of ammunition. At this point, panic sets in. Senior Lieutenant Vasily Tashkin ordered a retreat to the second checkpoint. During a brief cease in the battle, local Dagestani residents told Russian soldiers that the Chechens had given them half an hour to leave the village. During a great act of kindness, the local villagers brought them civilian clothing so that they could smuggle the policemen and soldiers out of town safely. In an act of defiance, Vasily Tashkin refused to retreat any further, even if it meant everyone else left. This act of defiance and pure courage actually convinced others to stay as well. Five others, in fact. So seven of the thirteen were smuggled out by local Dagestani villagers, but the remaining six decided to stay. And by the way, at this point in time, they'd actually ran out of ammunition. Imagine having the courage to stay there without any means of protection, basically just waiting for an unknown fate. You know, it's easy to say, oh, they made the wrong decision, but that sort of courage has to be admired, as far as I'm concerned. It was an act of incredible bravery, in my opinion. And yeah, Eventually, the six Russian conscripts, they found a barn, and they decided to barricade themselves in that barn. Eventually, the half-hour deadline that the Chechen militants gave the soldiers to leave expired, and they began searching for the Russian conscripts. 
I mean, just imagine those six guys in that barn just waiting for the minutes to tick by until eventually they're found. I mean, honestly, we can only imagine how that felt. After several minutes of searching, the Chechen militants came across the barn and they came to realize the Russian conscripts were barricaded inside. The Russian conscripts refused to leave and at this point, the Chechen militants doused the building in gasoline and threatened to burn it down if they didn't come out. The Chechen militants demanded the Russians to surrender, claiming that their intent was to obtain leverage for a prisoner exchange and nothing would happen to them. After some persuasion, the Russian conscripts left the barn and handed themselves over to the militants. Quickly after they handed themselves over, the Russians realized that they've been deceived. This was not a prisoner exchange, but a public execution ordered by the Chechen commander, Umar Idusotanov. The reason for the execution was to resolve a blood feud, essentially revenge for the recent loss of four friends and relatives in the Chechen war. The soldiers killed in the tape were later identified as Alexei Lipatov, Vasily Tashkin, Vladimir Kaufman, Boris Erdenayev, Alexei Pologayev, and Alexei Paranin. But shortly after the soldiers were captured, this is when they started recording, and at this point I'll break down what happens briefly in the video. So as I mentioned, this is a public execution. Many Chechen militants are here to see this, including some villagers as well. But yeah, as the tape proceeds, the first execution takes place. The method of execution essentially was to slash the throats of the Russian soldiers and pierce the trachea, and this exactly is what happens uh, to the first soldier. He has his throat essentially slit, and he's just left there to bleed out, drown in his own blood. It really isn't a quick death, I can only imagine the amount of pain during this. And yeah, the first soldier has his throat slit, he's left there to bleed out, and you can hear him basically, you know, grasping for breath, trying to stay alive, but his fate has been sealed at this point. At this point, they then turn to the second Russian soldier and execute him. He has his throat slit so deep, it's almost like, um, like his head is half being decapitated, if that makes sense. And he's still moving, grasping for breath. It really is a horrible, horrible sight. And before he was executed, the shrieks that he let out were just blood curdling, to tell you the truth. And by the way, the second Russian soldier who got executed, the guy who did it, actually wiped the blood off his blade onto the dying Russian soldier's clothes. They then select the third Russian soldier for execution. They actually pull him away from the group and make him lay down in like a grassy field, I guess you would say. But this soldier actually uh, gets up, manages to break free, and runs away, but he doesn't survive. He was killed by AK-47 fire off camera. The fourth Russian soldier is then selected for execution. They take him away from the group, make him lay down in the grassy field, and this soldier is actually pleading for his life. I will actually put the transcript of this soldier in the pinned comments, but essentially, like I said, he's, he is um, pleading for his life, trying to bargain with the Chechen militants to stay alive. He actually points the Chechen militants to a house which apparently has ammunition. He's doing anything and saying anything to stay alive. As I said, I will include the transcript in the pinned comments, but it really is a harrowing read. Um, you know, the Russian soldier uh, towards the end was begging for his mum, telling the Chechen people how fine they were, and the Chechen militants were just mocking him towards the end. It really is a heartbreaking read. But yeah, the fourth Russian soldier, uh, three Chechens have to restrain him, and then one of the militants starts stabbing him in the neck. He still tries to protect himself, you know, tries to like curl into a ball, but it's too late at that point, and they finish the job. The fifth Russian soldier is then selected, he suffers the same fate. His head has basically been almost like three quarters decapitated. You actually don't see this on camera, 
but you do see him get selected and you do see the aftermath of what has happened. And then the last Russian soldier is executed. Um, he's basically laying on his stomach. They pull his head back and begin sawing his throat. He then lets out a shriek of pain and the grimace on his face is just fucking crazy. But yeah, they saw his neck with a knife and just let him bleed out. And during the last execution, you can actually hear one of the militants in the background laugh as this is happening. And yeah, that essentially is the tape. And at the end of the tape, you actually see the militants start dragging the bodies away. So that is basically the video. And the video was actually discovered in the year 2000 by Russia's security service. And it was discovered on sale in Grozny. So yeah, this tape was actually being sold. And um, that's how the Russian security service ended up finding it. Once they found it, the investigation transpired and several militants involved were tried and sent to prison, including Tamaralan Karshaev, Islan Mukhaev, Abi Dandayev, Mansur Razayev, and Rizvan Vagapov. In fact, Rizvan Vagapov was only detained in 2011, 12 years after the massacre. So yeah, that is the Dagestan massacre. Is it one of the worst gore videos that I've ever seen? Not really. However, this is one of those videos that will just stick with you. It's eerie, it's creepy, and like I said at the start of this video, it really shows the reality of war. So something like this would actually stick with me longer than, let's say, Funky Town. Funky Town is far more gory, but for whatever reason, this video just sticks with me. It's very unsettling and it perfectly highlights the reality of war. So, you know, at the end of the day, I certainly wouldn't recommend watching it. It's definitely one of the worst war crimes caught on tape in my opinion, or at least accessible war crimes caught on tape. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you can enjoy this sort of content, and I also wanted to shout out a man called Moises, he recently made me a new channel logo, and I will actually change that when I upload this video. I think it looks great, so thank you very much. Um, shout out to Moises. And yeah, shout out to you guys in general. By the time I upload this, I should be at around 70,000 subscribers, which I find... I, I just find that to be a complete fucking trip, to be honest. And I really wanted to thank you guys for all of the support. You know, it is humbling, honestly, it's just crazy to me. It really is crazy. And it's funny because when I hear YouTubers who have like a lot of subscribers say that, I always think to myself, yeah, whatever, mate, that sounds contrived, it sounds fake. But seriously, thank you guys very much. You've made this so enjoyable. I know the content matter isn't exactly cheerful, but you know, this whole community has made me feel so, so welcome. I mean, some of you guys have made channel art, channel avatars, channel intros for nothing off your own back. That, that is incredibly, incredibly humbling and I'm forever grateful. And even Plagued Moth, like the granddaddy of this sort of content, he even gave me a shout out the other day completely off his own back. And yeah, this whole community, man, it is just, it's really eye opening. It's, it's really, it's really surprising to me to be honest, and you've made it enjoyable, so yeah, I need to end this rambling, thank you guys very much, but as always, I'll catch you on the next one.